In this video, I'm gonna give you seven ways that you can profit with blockchain without having to trade cryptocurrency. Because so many people think that you have to chase that next hot crypto coin or blockchain project in order to make any money in this space. But you don't have to do that. I'm gonna show you some ways to do it without trading. But some of these ways require some technical skills, all right? And don't let that scare you. That's actually a really good thing because having these technical skills are gonna give you a competitive edge over everybody else who just wants to figure out how to trade cryptocurrency and make money a really easy way, all right? I'm gonna show you some ways that uh, can make you money over time consistently and probably even make you more money than most people who trade cryptocurrency. But again, don't let these technical skills scare you, all right? So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory from Dapp University. University. On this channel, I teach you how to become a blockchain developer. I show you these types of technical skills uh, on this channel. So subscribe to the channel, click the like button down below if that's something that you're interested in. And also, if you're serious and you want to take that next step, then you need to join my free training on my website over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. So let's get into these seven ways to profit with blockchain, all right? Uh, so as always, this is not financial advice. I'm just a guy on YouTube giving you my opinion, all right? But way number one, and I think this is probably the best way for a lot of people, is to become a blockchain developer, like actually get a blockchain developer job. I think this is probably the best solution for most people who are looking for you know, a relatively high income and also some long-term security and not worrying about the income always changing, okay? so. Uh, Blockchain is one of the highest paid skills in tech, all right? And in many cases, you're more likely to earn a higher salary in blockchain compared to some other programming discipline, okay? You know, the average blockchain salary, I've actually got this pulled up here on my screen, a report I did, uh, is over $150,000 US dollars per year. And it's even common for new developers without much experience, like zero to one years of experience to earn uh, six figure salaries, okay? So there are not too many other places where you can, you know, jump into a new field, into a new industry like this and earn that kind of money that quickly and also have this growth potential for a really high paying job over the long term. Like there's many cases where people with several years of blockchain experience earning well over $150,000 per year and bringing the average up like well into the 200 plus thousand dollar range. So in order to get one of these jobs, you know, you need foundational technical skills that provide value to these businesses. But that's exactly what this channel is here for. I teach you how to become a blockchain developer step by step through all the tutorials that I put out on this channel and also uh, inside my blockchain developer bootcamp. And once you master those skills and get inside one of these jobs, you can unlock so many benefits that come from you know being a blockchain developer. The workforce is so uh, remote friendly. You can often work from wherever you want, whenever you want, right? Because the demand is so high for blockchain developers and the supply is so small, like most businesses can't just reach out and find a blockchain developer down the street. So they're forced to leverage a global talent pool. And if you can provide that to a business, uh, you know, you're able to get one of these jobs and work remotely and unlock that lifestyle of freedom and flexibility, all right? And a lot of times it can open you up to higher pay because you don't have to live in one of these, you know, tech hubs in order to get a job in a tech hub. You can li you can live in a different city um, and command some of these higher salaries and live somewhere else where your cost of living is lower and potentially, you know, stretch your dollar out farther. All right. So that's way number one is to get a blockchain developer job. So way number two it's very similar, but instead of being a full-time employee, you know, you could be a freelancer, all right? You could work hourly, you could work on a per-project basis. And this is a way that I honestly encourage a lot of people to get started with blockchain. So maybe they work some other job and they want to try blockchain out on the side. Well, they can just be a freelancer, okay? And a really good way to get started with that I've got this pulled up on my screen here, is just to go to a website like upwork.com and create a profile and start uh, you know, looking for work that way. You just need to create an account and start looking for jobs that get posted. And one tip I'll uh, mention here is that you should probably have some sort of portfolio in order to get your first job here, okay? And that's what I show you how to do in this channel. You can take any of the projects that I build here and customize it for yourself, add your own features, you know, build out your own use cases to sharpen your skills, solidify your learning, and also start hunting uh, for your first job, right? And sure, this is a great place to get your start, but you can also scale up and continue to do more freelancing work on Upwork, okay? So in addition to that, you know, you can branch out of Upwork. There's other ways to do freelancing online, um, but you know, the portfolio is key. And eventually you wanna develop some sort of network of 
of people that you can rely on and get referrals from. Maybe it's past clients, maybe it's other developers, but you can get there and build that up through building your online presence, okay? I highly recommend at least doing some sort of social media. You could do a blog, you could do LinkedIn, but that's another way to start building up your own freelance business outside of one of these platforms. So way number three to make money in blockchain are to do bounties, all right? So this is kind of a new business model that's getting popular on the blockchain. And this may not make you like a ton of money like over the long term, but it might be a good way for you to get your start as a blockchain developer, just trying smaller tasks, okay? So what are they? Well, essentially how this works is a company uh, gets on a platform like this, like on my screen here, Gitcoin. Um, so what they do is they post a small job or maybe even a big job, and they attach some sort of cryptocurrency value to it, okay? And whenever you fulfill that and you post uh, you know, your proof of completion, then they pay out the bounty to you, okay? So it's a way for them to just say, hey, here's something that I need done, here's how much we're willing to pay for it, you submit completion and we pay you. It's kind of like an alternative freelance model. So you can get on a platform like Gitcoin, browse bounties, let's just see if we can find one here. So you can see some bounties listed here. They uh, basically give you the project name, the description of what they need done, and they you know, tell you how much they're willing to pay for it. So here's a good example. Uh, this person needs a burner wallet integration. So essentially this is a new type of wallet that they want to integrate into their application. And they only pay 300 DAI for this, or in this case it's you know 300 US dollar based on uh, the DAI currency, all right? So you can see the instructions here. Uh, basically you follow this, you give them deliverables, and then they uh, pay one once it's completed. So way number four is to mine cryptocurrency. All right, so a quick introduction to this if you're not familiar, basically how cryptocurrency mining works is any, anytime you send cryptocurrency on a certain type of blockchain, in this case a proof of work blockchain, um, the transaction has to be mined, all right, by a select set of computers on the network that basically process the transaction and include it into the blockchain, okay? So you can participate in this, right? You basically have to set up a computer in order to mine, in order to participate in this, but you can get paid, all right? And this payment comes by you doing that and completing these transactions. So here I've got a guide on how to mine for Ethereum, right? You can mine on the Ethereum blockchain. You can also mine on Bitcoin and several others. And you know, for most people, I'll be 100% honest, mining is not like super profitable. So I wanna show you another way that's similar to mining um, that could be more beneficial to you, especially in the near to midterm. So the next way is way number five, all right? This is an alternative to mining and this is actually becoming a validator. So let me explain what this means, all right? so. You know, you can mine cryptocurrency on some blockchains, but on others, they have a different consensus algorithm, and some of them allow you to become a validator, all right? In these cases, the validators replace miners, all right? So you can see here, um, this is talking about Ethereum uh, becoming a proof-of-stake blockchain soon. So this does require a good amount of Ether. In this case, it requires 32 ETH to become a validator. But Ethereum's not the only uh, chain or protocol that you can be a validator on in order to make money. So Chainlink is another example of a protocol which you can become a validator on in order to make money. All right, so way number six uh, actually is a continuation of becoming a validator and that's really just staking your own cryptocurrency, all right? So this does require cryptocurrency in order to do it, right? And so in many cases, like if you are the validator and you stake your own cryptocurrency, uh, you know, you can earn money this way, but there are other things like delegated proof of stake or things like staking as a service or apps that basically just allow you to buy the cryptocurrency itself and stake it into these protocols and earn interest that way, okay? So this is a way for you to earn passive income uh, with your cryptocurrency on the blockchain. And it does require you to own some initially, but you don't actually have to participate in the trading uh, in order to do this. So way number seven, all right, to earn money with blockchain without trading is to, just to participate in decentralized finance. So if you're not familiar with DeFi, basically it's just porting existing financial uh, applications and, and moving them over to the blockchain. Things like savings, loans, derivatives, et cetera, et cetera. And you can see that, you know, DeFi is really exploding. And it's presented lots of opportunities to you know, make money with cryptocurrency without having to trade. So I'll show you some examples. The first one I wanna show you is Compound Finance. All right, I've done a couple of videos about this on my channel, but I wanna bring it up again. So Compound basically allows you to just lock your money into smart contracts and earn passive interest on it. So again, this is not financial advice. I'm not telling you you need to buy money and put it in this smart contract, but I wanna show you how it works, okay? So essentially, all you need to do is 
own some cryptocurrency like DAI, for example, right? This is a stable currency whose price doesn't change. You go buy DAI and you go you go put it into a protocol like Compound and you earn uh, interest, right? So if you look on the screen here, you can see like DAI is earning an, uh, a 7.8% interest or 8.2% interest on the borrowing. So basically how this works is like you buy it, you put it in this protocol and it just generates money for you, right? It gives you interest. And at 7.8% interest, that's probably a lot higher than you could get in your bank account <laughs> and maybe even in your stock portfolio. So how this works is basically they do arbitrage. So they have they have borrowing on the other side. So if you're, you're supplying here at 7.8% interest, they're basically just doing an arbitrage to where somebody borrows at, you know, almost a percentage point higher on the other side and they're just taking a profit out in the middle, right? That's how this protocol works. Now you could also make money by borrowing and trying to do these arbitrage flips yourself, <laughs> you know, trying to go long or short on trades, depending on what you think the assets are gonna do, but that's for traders. And this whole video is about making money in blockchain without having to trade. So I don't want to violate uh, that, but I will tell you that that's also a possibility. And as always, not financial advice. I'm not telling you to do leveraged trading on the blockchain. All right, so those are my seven ways to profit with blockchain without trading cryptocurrency. All right, a lot of these uh, require technical skills, but again, that's what this channel's here for, uh, to teach you those technical skills that you need in order to become a blockchain developer, to become, you know, a a miner, a staker, a validator, uh, whatever you want to do, these skills are going to give you the knowledge that you need and that competitive edge. So if y'all like this video, again, subscribe to the channel, click the like button down below. And if you want to take that next step and become a blockchain master, you need to join my free training on my website over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.